I was hoping to find some replay files on ballchasing.com for some scrims that have been happening lately, but I did not find any, so I'm just going to kind of use Justin's VOD. So uh, follow twitch.tv slash it's Justin. I appreciate uh, appreciate him streaming his scrims. Obviously, there's no audio for the game here. It says uh, no audio in his title. This is a scrim against Team Queso. I'm just going to kind of use this as background while I talk a little bit about scrims this split. So something interesting that I heard on Johnny Boy stream with CJ, CJ and Johnny Boy talking about what scrims kind of mean for this split compared to the last split. I'm going to kind of play those clips right now. I feel like last in Sweden, everyone's like, oh my God, Furia, how good are they scrimming? They're going to be so like, they're going to be unbelievable. Didn't go too great in Sweden. This time, Furia going terribly. Everyone's like, scrims don't matter. Like it, <laughs> it, just fits, it just fits whatever like narrative you're running with. Like there's no, you know, or if your team's not going well, oh, they're trolling, you know, or they're going well, like, oh, they're unbelievable, you know? No, listen, scrims were like more, I think they were more of a talking point going into the fall major because we had to see, we'd see nothing, no international competition. It was like a glimpse into what it might look like. But now like, I don't know. We've seen, we've seen international competition. But scrim results for certain teams haven't been going as certain people might think or you know just how everything's going like furia has been getting kind of farmed in scrims i'm pretty sure and then i'm in this scrim i'm 99 percent sure that energy gets farmed pretty hard by team queso so what do scrim results mean for international competition now that we've had some already in the fall split so i'd say out of the 16 teams attending i'd say I, I would be willing to bet that most of them have played against each other in some capacity whether it's in a scrim whether it's actually at the tournament obviously there's some newcomers to the to the tournament here but they've they've been scrimming right they've seen all these players they know how they play and obviously scrims aren't the direct one-to-one -one result of how they play on land and play in an actual tournament but international scrimming is whoa beautiful goal explosion um international scrims are a great way to kind of gauge how certain teams are playing how they're feeling each other out and how they're feeling out your own play style so with Team Queso versus NRG here, obviously we know how Queso likes to play in Europe, but we don't know how they play against the team in NA, because NA and Europe definitely have different play styles. It's not, like, drastically different, but there is something to be said about the differences. And kind of who who's ed who edges out who in this match, it's tough to say, but, you know, like I said, a lot of people are saying that NRG did not perform as well as they might have wanted to, and Team Queso did really well against them. Will that translate to the LAN if they play each other? We'll see. I think international scrims are definitely a great thing for the community to kind of have their eyes on heading into the each major and like th throughout the end of each split. They're not the end all be all by any means, but I do think that having them, having international competition back, it definitely brings about the arguments again about who's the best team in the world, who's the best region, how do each region match, how does each region match up against each other? And it's a conversation that I'm glad that we're having again instead of this back and forth. Oh, well, you don't know. We can't play each other. So it's really great to have international scrims back. Hopefully you guys have been watching some here and there when you can. I know Lawler's been doing a bunch. Corelli's been doing a bunch. I know, I know Johnny Boy's been watching some. Chrissy on was doing Torments not too, like a couple days ago. Jemmy Cheeseman's been watching some. So there are just a lot of people in the community that are given an opportunity to, you know, sit and and watch these teams scrim and kind of broadcast it to their audience so everyone can kind of get a look and kind of gauge about and get a gauge on how everyone's feeling i'd say I, I kind of agree with johnny boy's point that like international scrims heading into the fall major felt a little bit more heavy felt a little bit more intense because we didn't know what everyone was kind of looking like we didn't know how each team was going to play against one another now that we've seen international competition it's definitely it feels a little bit more like a loose experience. Teams aren't taking it as, I want to say seriously, but like they're not taking it as much to heart. They're kind of just playing their game. They're kind of working on their own mechanics, getting really fluid and making sure that they're going to play the game that they want to play. And they're not going to let scrim results kind of like hold them back from that. And those are kind of my thoughts on the international scrims right now. Like I would definitely expect similar things to be happening during the spring split and heading to the spring major like a similar like mindset about them and a similar a similar kind of like discourse around them because the more you play against international competition the more you like scrim against each other the more you're going to feel comfortable playing against certain teams the more you're going to be able to 
feel confident in your gameplay against teams that you don't always get to play against. Obviously, NA is going to feel a bit more comfortable against NA unless like certain teams have bugaboos against you know specific ones. Like I know, like FaZe can't beat NRG. Basically, is kind of like the the stigmata from the fall split. And you know, will FaZe kind of feel that way on LAN? If they can't beat Team Queso in scrims, will NRG feel that way on LAN? It's tough to say, but the more you play against them, the more practice you get. It's definitely going to be a good thing in the long run, and I'm personally just happy to have international competition back. It's, you know, we had it in the fall in the fall split, and having it still just be around is it's really great for the scene, and it's really great for the league as a whole. Of course, we're going to get overtime in this one, so I can't really end the video without seeing the end result of this game. I end overtime, Justin's going to go for the kickoff here, pushes it to the right side, and Joya's on the wall. Is Joya using the Mustang? I didn't notice. He's in an Octane. Joy, where's the Mustang at, bro? Rise pre-flipping. I know Rise is chasing demos like crazy in scrims. Homie's a menace. Let's see, Vatira rotates out. If that was Rise, he would have definitely tried to demo there. And Garrett misses kind of an open net. Definitely should have hit that one. Looking like a lot of offensive pressure from, from NRG here. So, obviously, this is the first game from their scrim. I definitely think... It's, it's been pretty even so far, but I want to say the final result I remember hearing about was like 5-2 to in, in, in favor of Queso. They scrim for about an hour, so it's like get about seven matches, and that makes sense Like in terms of like if there's overtimes, the time in between goals. So depending on who wins here, that's, ooh, everyone just kind of sitting in that there. Justin kind of crowding, still keeping it in. Squishy, that's a good shot. Beautiful shot. And you can see, like, they're they're just playing their game. They're they're doing, they're, they're just going through the motions right now. But that's International Scrims. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Just a little discussion about what I think about International Scrims and how I expect them to kind of be treated going forward. But catch some of them live. I said a couple of the streamers there. Please do so. They're really great to watch. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.